Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43, and I'm here to do a mini quickie pop-up weekly message reading for the sign of Sagittarius. If you are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. We are very inclusive. We invite everybody. If you're one of my returning watchers, viewers, or subscribers, God bless you. I'm sending you bundles of abundance and joy. And just know I appreciate each and every one of you, and I mean that from the top of my heart. And just know that I am still available for life coaching sessions and tarot card readings. So if you don't know, I do tarot and I also do life coaching sessions. Typically, I do free sessions on Fridays, but if you want a personal session, please read the description box below if you want a reading or session. Okay? So Sagittarius, this is just a weekly message just to let you know what's going on. I'm only going to use two decks, Oracle decks. I'm going to use this one this is the earth magic deck and then i'm also going to use the magical times deck so if you want to know what my decks are you need to contact me or email me please read the description box below if you like the reading please like share subscribe comment i do appreciate all your wonderful comments and i do take constructive feedback as well so i appreciate that okay so for the week of august 18th through the 24th this will be your little check-in type of reading. And I want you to know, don't get hung up on signs as I'm really not calling them. I try to focus on the sign that I'm on, which I'm on you, Sagittarius. And don't focus on genders because in tarot, it's really all about energy. But if you ever see an emperor or empress, you can take that as it resonates for you. Okay, never force a, re a reading to resonate or fit your story or scenario. Either it does or it don't, you'll know. Okay. There are incredible readers and other readings that you'll be able to see that, believe me, something will definitely resonate. There's a lot of talent and gifted individuals out there. Okay. And as far as reversals, I don't read them. In the future, I may, but I do notice them. So I'm just letting you know. Okay, Sagittarius. Let's begin. Let's start with the Earth Magic deck. Oh, and before I start... Sagittarius, it is a full moon tonight. Please manifest under the stars, under the moon. Say a prayer. Um, speak your desire, something of that nature. Okay, let's start. So Sagittarius from August 18th through August 24th, 2020. Of course, all my cards have been prayed upon and meditated upon. I just have to do it again. Hold up, let me shuffle by the camera. I think I was off the camera. <laughs> Messages for Sagittarius. Let's get four. I think we have four. They came out in twos and twos. Interesting. Okay. I feel like these should be here. And this should be here. Yeah, that feels right. Okay. All right. Okay, so you have Autumnal Equinox release. So there's something that you're releasing. It could be some negative energy, past energy, maybe somebody who just didn't serve you well. Either you've had a chip on your shoulder or a heavy burden. You're putting it down. You're giving it some rest. You're moving forward and onward with your life. And you're going to feel so much lighter and better and free is what I'm hearing. You also have green man synergy. This is the energy of a partnership, somebody coming to help you and to work with you. Don't be surprised if somebody wants to partner up with you or buddy up with you at work or even in the family to get a task completed. And I feel like it's going to be completed with excellence it's going to come out really great so take the help is what i'm getting it's going to flourish and with all this green here it may even make you some money or um who knows you could be planning a garden or starting a business or something of that nature but i'm seeing an ideal come to fruition and it taking off so that looks amazing you have milky way perspective here get a new perspective about life like i said look at the moon look at the stars tonight Think about what your real wishes and desires and goals and dreams are. Really focus on them and talk to God and your angels and your entire spiritual family about that tonight especially, but definitely during this week. But if you can get out there tonight, I really am pushing for that. <clears throat> okay, and you're going to see something different. So maybe you work with somebody who maybe in the past, maybe it wasn't successful or it wasn't the most productive, but now it's like they've grown or you've grown. It could be both. Take it how it resonates for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it's like you get to see things from a different 
perspective, a different light. You're enlightened about something and it changes your thoughts on somebody or something. So look forward to that. But I feel like it's good. It's positive. And you also have new moon promise. And like I was saying, we have a new moon tonight. So another reminder that God keeps his promises. Spirit is watching over you. Your angels are guarding you. Please make sure that you remember to love yourself and each other. Anybody who is your significant other or spouse or even your kids, your family, show a lot of affection and love to the people around you and just make sure you do it safely and lovingly. And just remember to really cherish romantic relationships and all relationships, including friendships and partnerships and work relations. Because if you don't cherish the people around you and count your blessings, you will lose them. Sagittarius, it's important to remember who's been there for you, who's had your back. And remember that sometimes you may not feel appreciated, but people really do appreciate you, especially if you have a good heart. And I feel like you do. You've asked God and the universe or whatever you like to call it. You've asked spirit for some things. Please keep the faith because I do believe it's coming. Okay, don't push people away because you haven't gotten your way yet or you feel like something you deserve, a bonus, a raise, or... um. I don't know, more love, whatever it is, it's coming. You just need to be patient and be in a place where you can show your gratitude for everything that you have and everything that you will have. Okay, I see blessings coming to you. Look to the heavens, look to the stars and make sure you're praying. And, you know, I keep seeing that moon energy here and even looking at this Milky Way perspective, it kind of reminds me of a moon. It's like, see the light, see the good that's coming to you. Okay, from the Magical Times Empowerment Deck, let's get some messages for Sagittarius for this week, August 18th or the 24th for the sign of Sagittarius. Spirit, what can we tell Sagittarius? Did four come out or three? Three. One more for the sign of Sagittarius, please, Spirit. What do they need to know? There it is. Okay. Love it really good energy it's really smooth and just flowing here okay creation came out first i believe uh oh i dropped a card okay so this is about you really manifesting and creating the dream life and knowing that you can have it so whatever it is that you want what is your wish what makes you happy do you know your purpose it's time to connect with God and spirit about the core values and things that are deep and within that you really need to discuss and ask because with your thoughts and working with spirit, so you're co-creating with spirit, you can have the dream life. Okay. It's all about your thoughts and then your patterns. If you think it and dream it, you can achieve it. Remember your thoughts shape your future. Your words create today. Your choices become your reality. You make the right choice in life. You will have amazing things. Get things done and don't procrastinate is what I'm hearing, Sagittarius. You also have the expectation card here. It's very beautiful cards. I love this deck. But then again, I love all my decks. It says, be open for whatever comes next. It might just be the music your heart's been want, been, been waiting to hear. So, and wanting. So whatever you're wanting, whatever you've been waiting for, expect it once you've prayed on it you put the effort and work behind it give it to god and this just let it come to you because you've already fought for it you've put the work in and the effort okay expect good things to come to you in that energy more good things will come to you just be open for what's next keep your eyes on the prize that's what i'm hearing just go with the flow it's like you have new wings now. You get to fly a little bit. Let your soul kind of soar. And be confident. You have the confidence card. Stand in your courage. Stand in your strength. Be bold. When you have to say something, say it from the heart. Say it with your chest. It says be bold. Rise up and stand tall. Feel the fire in your soul. Feel yourself rejuvenating. Getting stronger. Feeling better. Feeling wiser. Let yourself feel in life. Feel your emotions. It's good to feel. When you're strong and you feel confident, that is actually a positive thing to feel. Feel ready. Expect what's next. Something's going to make you happy. You just have to allow it in. 
Don't block any blessings. And stay kind. You have kindness here. Be loving and helpful towards others. This is this is about peace here. It says, live with compassion. Open your heart to all life forms. Be an angel with hands. Help others. Your words and your actions of being a giver or supporting a friend or family member in some way. Lending a hand. Calling a family member to check on them. Thinking of others. Being very loving. People see the angel within you. They'll see God within you. Okay? There's something about your hands. Maybe hug people more. Remember to love yourself as well. But just remember there's things, there's acts that you can do to help others. You may need to fix up around the house a little bit. You may need to fix up the car or do something different with your hands. How can you help somebody else carry some groceries? Do something positive for somebody else. And it will come back to you. It will give you peace. I feel like there's a peace you're looking for. And it starts with gratitude and giving. So being thankful for everything that you have and everyone that's around you. And then giving to others. Seeing things very differently. Seeing the glass half full instead of empty. Seeing things or half empty. Seeing things, seeing the optimistic side of life is what I'm getting. You can create your dreams. Don't feel like it's too late. It's not too late. Dream big and then go for it. Do the research. Put the effort and the work in to get there. And then when it's time to ask for a raise or ask for a bonus or submit a proposal, know what you're talking about. Be prepared. Be confident. Be ready. And then ask for it. Go for it. There's nothing holding you back. God sees your progress. And as long as you keep going forward, you will go forward in a great pace. In fact, you'll speed up and go steadfast. Promises and blessings will come into you. They will come to you. And for you. Be compassionate. Think of others. Okay, so Sagittarius, this has been your reading for this week. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment if this resonates. Or if you've learned something or if it's helped you in some way. I wish you blessings and abundance. Stay at peace. Be loving. Release what you don't need and focus on blessings and dreams. And definitely make a wish under the stars tonight. Bye, Sagittarius.